Hey guys, you all welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you the process that you can use to get rid of activation lock screen. In this tutorial, we are going to use the iRemover Pro Premium Edition for iOS 17 devices and you can also use this method to bypass iCloud on iPhone XS up to iPhone 14 Pro Max. So to get started, the first thing that we have to do is to connect the Wi-Fi network to the device and to check that there is an iCloud lock to this iPhone device. Now, go ahead and type in your Wi-Fi password and then click Next. So as you can see, this my iPhone 12 Pro Max is actually locked to an iCloud. And unfortunately, I have forgotten the email address and the password, which is why I want to share with you guys the process that I used to bypass this my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, the first thing that we have to do is to launch the 3 u software. This will enable us to check the iOS version of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now you can see that this iPhone 12 Pro Max has iOS version 17.5.1, which is eligible for the iCloud bypass using the iRemover Pro Premium Edition. So guys, if you're trying to get rid of iCloud bypass on this iPhone XR to iPhone 14 Pro Max, you need to take note that for the iPhone XR up to iPhone 13 Pro Max, the device has to be on iOS 17.5.1. And for the iPhone 14 series, the device has to be on iOS 16.6.1. Point one. So let's take note of that. The next step that we are going to take now is to turn off the Windows Defender before we launch the iRemover Pro. This will enable the iRemover Pro software to function smoothly without any limitation. So do make sure to turn off your Windows Defender as well as your antivirus softwares on your PC. Now as soon as you've done that then you go straight to the folder where you have saved the iRemover pro premium edition the iRemover pro premium edition you can download it in the telegram link in my description so once you extract the folder then you go into the folder and then you launch the iRemover pro premium edition if you are having issue launching the software, you can as well launch the software and run it as administrator. So as soon as the iRemover Pro Premium Edition is launched, then you go ahead and connect your iPhone device to the PC. Once you connect your iPhone device to the PC, the iRemover Pro Premium Edition will run a check on your device to see if your iPhone device is supported or not. As soon as the software has completely checked your device, it is going to give you a pop-up message on the screen telling you that your device is supported for a12 signal bypass now the next thing that you have to do is to copy your device serial number and send it to a reseller to help you register the serial number i am going to leave a registration link in the description so depending on the type of server that you use to register your device the registration process usually takes like 24 hours meanwhile some also takes like three to five days to complete the registration but as soon as the registration is complete your reseller should let you know that your iphone device is ready to activate 
let me go straight and register my device serial number and after registering the serial number i will be back so that we can activate this iphone device stay tuned So guys, now I have successfully registered my device serial number and I have connected the device to the PC again. Let us wait and allow the iRemover Pro Premium Edition to run a check on my device and to confirm that my device has successfully been registered. Now the check is complete. Let us go ahead and click on the activate button. The activation process is almost done and my device is already activated. Guys, like I'm so happy right now because at least I can actually gain access to my device again just like it was before. Let us wait for a while and allow this process to complete so that we can check and see that all the features are actually working perfectly. When the process is done, I received another prompt saying congratulations your device has been successfully activated meaning that the process is successful and now i can now use my device just as it was before so congratulations guys we did it we did it now let's just go ahead and check out my iphone and see that everything actually works perfectly i want to insert a sim card in it and try to make a call and see if it actually works so i just inserted my mtn chip and you can see that the network is actually working perfectly let me deactivate the wi-fi and then let me call the customer service and see if it is going to work and boom it's actually working